Good morning, you guys. Well, we are officially in Rome. This is technically day two, but the first day that we're actually alive enough to go explore some things. Yesterday's travel day was extremely stressful, very hot. All of the metro lines were down, so we had to end up walking a lot to our Airbnb, and it was just miserable packing all that luggage in the heat and not really knowing where we were going the original plans we had to get to the airbnb obviously weren't working so we had to improvise but last night i somehow got eight hours of sleep it's 6 39 a.m and today we have plans to go to the vatican probably the coliseum and the trevi fountain so knocking some of those big ones out of the way today first day in Rome was truly a dream when I think back on it I just smile because every street that we walked down was beautiful the food the culture the art it's all so rich and packed with history and every person there was just so kind to us but we had a lovely day we ended it with our first meal in italy which was a pizza that only cost eight euros and they went ahead and split it for my husband and i it was delicious and then we had some lemon gelato that i am still thinking about right now For our second day in Rome, we visited the Borges Gallery and Gardens. This gallery is most commonly known for its collection of Bernini statues, but they also have works by Raphael, Caravaggio, and lots of other famous artists. This place was amazing. Every room would just take your breath away, and the frescoes on the ceiling were just so spectacular. We were truly in awe of this place and we waited in line for about two and a half hours for tickets so make sure to buy them in advance if you want to come visit here. I would also recommend grabbing a map of the gardens because they are about 200 acres and then we decided to go see the Colosseum lit up at night which was the perfect way to end our day. Right now, 
now it is 6 a.m. Today is our last day in Rome. At about 9.30, we are headed to the metro station and that's gonna take us to our cruise port. Our cruise departed from Civitavecchia port in Italy, so we just took a 45 minute train ride from the city center to the coast. That day we just settled in and rested up so that we could wake up early because the next day we were ported at Salerno, Italy along the Amalfi Coast, which allowed us to take a ferry to Positano and Amalfi Town in Italy. And these are two places I've dreamed about for so long, but wow, 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 did they live up to the hop. Day two, we ported in Messina, Italy, and this day we took a train to Terramina, and we started at the very bottom of that coastline to get to the top of the city. It said it was only a 20 minute hike, but it was straight up, so fair warning if you're wanting to hike this, it is rough. I almost didn't make it, but the views from here were so stunning and we absolutely loved this little city. After making it all the way to the top, we rode a cable car down to the other side of the island and visited the beach of Isola Bella. As you can see, this cable car was a little bit scary. It was very high up, but we really enjoyed swimming and spending time at Isola Bella. If you arrive to Santorini from a boat, you'll have to make your way up to the top because this town is on the side of a cliff. So we opted to take the cable car up. You can also take donkeys or you can choose to walk, but I'm not so sure I'd recommend that in this heat. But Santorini was beautiful. We visited Fira and then we rode a bus to Ia and took in all of the views of the ocean from the very top of the city. And we just enjoyed our day here, had some pasta, and we also done a little bit of shopping here.
Day four was our day at sea, so we just stayed by the pool all day and relaxed. And then day five, we went to Turkey. And this is where you can see the ancient city of Ephesus, but we were so worn out. We actually just went to a beach and swam, and then we headed back to the boat. I truly think I left my heart here in Mykonos. This coastal town is so beautiful. In fact, it was my favorite place of the whole trip. It's so dreamy and all of the blue and white buildings and the cascading pink flowers, they just take your breath away. It feels like something out of a fairy tale. Good morning guys. It is the last day of the cruise. We are getting off the ship in just about an hour. Our departure time is at nine o'clock. This cruise was amazing. Yesterday, Mykonos just made it worth it for us all. It's the most beautiful, uh, quiet, tranquil place that we've ever been. I definitely wanna come back here, but I am ready to get off of the ship. So I'm going to make sure everything is packed up and then we will be heading to Athens and we can check into our hotel around 4 o'clock. So we'll probably drop our luggage off and find something to do. It's so hot here right now. I think it's supposed to get up to like 100 degrees and they have been shutting stuff down in Athens because of the heat. So fingers crossed we get to see stuff but also we just want to be safe and you know not have a heat stroke so I'll keep you guys updated we are officially in Athens I was so worried about us traveling and getting from the port to the Airbnb but everything actually went really smoothly if you ever come to the port here in Athens they have buses that will take you right to the city center and our Airbnb was only about a 10-ish minute walk from the city center where the bus dropped us off. This Airbnb is phenomenal. The views here are spectacular. I'm going to insert some clips of what this Airbnb looks like and I will link it down below. Couldn't recommend it more. I mean, it's very close walking distance to pretty much everything in Athens, about a 15, 20 minute walk. And I mean, like I said, the views of the Acropolis are just breathtaking. Since we just arrived today, the plan is to just chill out. And tomorrow we are going to head to the Acropolis to see the Parthenon. We're going to go to the Acropolis Museum and just walk around the ruins of the city. It's very hot here right now <laughs> um, it's like 98 degrees so we plan to get up as early as possible and beat the heat so you're either exploring really early in the morning or really late at night because it's just too hot to walk around and it's quite dangerous so we really only have one full day in athens and then we fly out and head back home <laughs> Thank you. 
At 7 a.m. we headed up to the Acropolis and we were in line at around 7.15 or 7.20 and we were one of the first people to head up to the top. We were so early that we got to see them raise the flag on top of the hill and it was just a once in a lifetime experience. Something that I want to know is that everything here is marble and it's very slick i almost fell a couple of times so make sure to wear good tennis shoes that have really good grips the views from up here were amazing and we just spent the rest of the day exploring the ruins and the acropolis museum As you can see, we have had a wonderful day exploring Athens. We got up at about five this morning, got ready, had breakfast at this place called the Coffee Joint. If you're in Athens, definitely come here. The nicest, most genuine people. It was a little home ran breakfast and coffee place. We got smoothies to go. Um, and they actually stopped us and gave us some free bread on the way out, but they were just so kind and welcoming. Everything was translated to English. So that's always very helpful. Today ended our two week vacation here in Europe. And although I am so grateful for these experiences and seeing these places and making these memories, I'm so, glad that I'll be going home and seeing friends and family and I miss my cat so much. So hopefully we'll have a smooth and safe travel day tomorrow. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed me bringing you along and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!